The Dog and Pony Show is charged up and full of excitement as we cross the Golden Gate Bridge into San Francisco. The city of love is also the city of laughter. Come along. I had a roommate who used to drink uh, screwdrivers all the time and then justify it. Oh, I'm, I'm getting my fruit and grain in the same meal. It was great. And then he started to shoot heroin for the acupuncture. We catch up with Robert Mack at Union Square. And one, two, three, shoot. A stand-up comic whose dream is to be the Pied Piper of laughter as he leads a giggling gaggle of tourists through the streets of San Francisco. I love San Francisco. There's so much to see here. I mean, look at all this stuff. And there's a lot of great history, and it's a quirky city with uh, its own personality, and it marches to its own drummer, and you know, I just love showing it off to people. So all of a sudden, he left his bar and built a beautiful mansion, which... Robert's passion for comedy and his curiosity for history gave birth to a unique dream called Foot Tours. He hosts walking tours of the city that are brimming with humor and fun. If he'd let me finish, Pam. Who invited Pam? I love doing comedy because you're your own boss. It's creative. There's no rules. You can do whatever you want. It lets you really, really try new things and experiment and take risks and put your neck on the line. I, I actually thought you were drunk. <laughs> Apparently, a nine-to-five job wasn't a good fit for Robert. So he took a risk, and he followed his heart. When I first told people that I was going to, to be a comic, I could see them scratching their heads, but they know that I'm a little whatever that is. The men were followed by women who follow money, which is uh, pretty much how the West was won. First, the prospectors came, and then the prostitutes came, and then everybody came uh, here. <laughs> Yeah, sure, that's not a problem at all. We'll meet you there at uh, 1245. Although Robert has appeared on TV shows, has won national contests, and performed across the country, he's not really laughing all the way to the bank. Well, just yet. Robert often performs comedy just for the love of it. I did a show last night at a laundromat. It's a laundromat that serves booze. It's called Brainwash. And I did it not for the money, because I didn't get anything. Uh, I did it because I love making people laugh. Which is why I'm open-minded on both ends, all right? When it gets hot, do what I do. Take a summer vacation to Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> Seven days, one night in beautiful downtown Alaska. I'm out of time. Thank you guys so much for listening. Having a crowd stand and clap or have someone come up to you saying, that was great, you made my day, you can't put a price tag on that. I okay. could do that. Yeah. Amanda says no. <laughs> Being a comedian lets me live my dream, but there's no middle class in comedy. That's the thing. There's a bottom rung, and then there's the, all the big stars that everybody knows. And right now I'm in the middle, so I'm, I'm heading toward my dream, but I haven't quite reached it yet. So you guys have two chances to walk properly this time. <laughs> And then we'll head up the street. Is that all right? I think it's wonderful for people to chase their dreams because that's what life is about. If you don't get to chase your dreams in life, then what are you living it for? Is that, is that it's the first <laughs> and last dysentery joke on today's story. <laughs> Just a small part is Just what I mean. Laughter is indeed the best medicine, um, and we're oozing with good health after our visit with Robert Mack. I hope you had fun on my tour of San Francisco today. It's been a blast hanging out with the Dog and Pony Show. And next time you pop into San Francisco, look me up. I gotta go. Hang on to your hat and hop in the motorhome. We're headed for South Carolina. Skipping out the 